I am more than happy to tell you about how to get them from Waterstones. A number of mine are actually from Waterstones. In fact, some of my favorite are from Waterstones. Um, this one over here, the one that says to hell with love, that's actually Girl Goddess uh, Queen, I believe. Girl Goddess Queen. Why are they sticking? There we are. This one. Love that. This one here, also from Waterstones. This guy, another Waterstones find. I have like so many Waterstones ones. So they are a treasure trove for if you love the sprayed edges. Um, and let me show you how. So what you're going to want to do is go to their section that says signed and special editions right here. You can go to that top left menu where it says menu and those little three lines. And there's a signed and special editions. And here they have it all labeled by their different sections and whatever. And most of the time it's going to say signed edition. Normally the signed editions don't have a little special thing, but sometimes they do. The Waterstones exclusive editions are the ones that tend to have the special little uh, page uh, stenciled stuff going on. But here's how you can tell for sure if there's going to be something special on your page. Click on the book that you're interested in. Do you see how over there on the left-hand side there's the book? Normally it'll just have the front of the book facing out. If you see that there's some two dots right there, scroll to see if there's more pic pictures of the book. And normally it'll show you the side of the book with the actual page. And if there's going to be special, like, pages, so this one is These Infinite Threads, or, yeah, These Infinite Threads, this is the Waterstones Exclusive Edition, and look at those gorgeous edges. So this one actually will show you, so the first picture was the front of the book, and then the second picture shows you the gorgeous freaking edges on this special Waterstones Edition. And look at that price, that's gorgeous. And so, and yeah, you gotta pay shipping, but look at that, isn't it freaking gorgeous? I hope that helped. Again, more questions, comments, concerns, come back to this bookish guru. I will do my best.